What's going on guys, Matthew Monas here. Today I wanna to talk about my everyday carry, or maybe this is more of a what's in my gaming bag video. I don't know, it depends how you look at it, but basically these are the things that I would take with me if I'm leaving the house to game somewhere else. The first thing that I carry is storage space. I usually carry one of these drives. These are four terabyte, Passport Ultra Drives from WD. These things are fantastic, they're not too expensive, and they come in a variety of colors. The ones with the metal plates are slightly more expensive because they're a little bit more premium, but they all essentially do the same job. They're perfect to store all of your documents, your files. If I constantly need to install certain things, I can just keep them on this drive instead of downloading them off the internet each time. The next thing is the headphones, and I love the Sennheiser PC 373Ds. In fact, I've been using these for like two years now, and I still go back to them every single time. Now, obviously at this point, they don't have the best sound on the market. I love the fact that they're USB, the ear cups are nice and cushiony, they have this velvet feel to it. You can control the volume on the right side by twisting the knob. The swivel earpiece goes up and down, so if you place it all the way upwards, it will mute the conversation. The reason why I like is they just feel very solid, and because it's USB, I can pretty much plug it into any single device. These ones also support Dolby sound, so if you want an extra boost in terms of volume control, you have that ability. Next is the gaming mouse. I kind of switched between different ones, but lately I've been using the Acer Cestus 500. This one retails for about $39 to $49. It comes with a braided cable, so it's not gonna rip on you. It's really light and really small. I love the shark fins on the side so my fingers fit comfortably in place. 7200 DPI, you have over 16 million different colors that you can change the logo to. It's, it's insane. You can pretty much customize the RGB to your heart's content. You got buttons on both sides, so perfect for someone who's left-handed or ambidextrous. You have these little fins that can be replaced or removed depending on how heavy or light you want your mouse to be. These have Omron switches inside. so. Pre-installed are the Chinese ones, but you can switch them out and place the Japanese ones in here instead if you like that feel a little bit better. Now with every portable carry, you kind of need a power bank, but choosing the right one is very important. Now if you're carrying a laptop, I recommend the Morphe Power Station AC. This one's special because you have an AC plug in here, so if I hook up, let's say, the Helios 500 to it or the Dell G7, I'll get an extra hour of gameplay before needing to charge. I mean, this is 22,000 milliamps, so it will charge, let's say, a Mac MacBook or an Ultrabook to full charge one and a half times, but a gaming laptop, it'll probably give you an extra hour. Look, that's an extra hour of gameplay you didn't have before. There's a fan to keep it cool, which only turns on when you have something plugged into the AC. You have a USB-A and USB Type-C port to plug other devices like your smartphone or a tablet. And the cool thing about Morphe is the quality of the product. You have this nice suede material, which feels great. And let's say, for example, you plug this into the wall to charge and you plug your smartphone in here. What it will do is prioritize the charge. So it will fill up your smartphone first, then charge the Mophie itself. So since we're on the topic of charging, I always recommend this cable as part of any setup. This thing is like the Swiss army knife of charging cables. You pretty much have every single cable for every single device. This is the Chafon 6-in-1 cable. You have USB Type-C, you have lightning cable, you have the old school USB, you have micro USB, and you have an extra micro USB if you wanna charge two devices at the same time. I keep this in all my bags, very handy to have, and of course it will work with the Mophie that I mentioned earlier. Next up is a controller. Obviously you want one of these in your bag. This is the Xbox controller because I personally play a lot of Xbox games, but it's something to keep in your bag just in case you go to your buddy's house, he only has one controller. At least you have the option to play with him. And the last thing before I talk about the bag is the phone of choice. I'm rocking the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. This guy right here has a 6.4 inch display, which is amazing to look at. Beautiful, vibrant colors, hands down the best display on a smartphone right now. I also love the fact that it has tons of RAM, it's liquid cooled, whether that makes a difference or not is to be seen, but, Fortnite runs great on this. PUBG runs great on this. Overall, one of the best devices for gaming right now. So finally, we have the bag of choice, and that goes to the Travel Pack 2. I love this thing because it's discreet, it's all black, so it looks nice. Tons of space. I cannot tell you how much stuff I can fit into here. There are so many pockets for all your devices, your peripherals, the list goes on. Like, look at this. You have a pocket here, a bunch of pockets here. You can fit a tablet here. You can fit another tablet in here. There is a shoe place for shoes. And here, you can fit 
all of your clothes in here. So if you're traveling somewhere, you have another pocket right here. Now they say this bag is only for 15 inch laptops, but honestly, I've easily fit 17 inch laptops in here. A Helios 500, which is a 17 inch mammoth laptop. And that also fits in the bag. So easily fits 17 inch laptops even though it's only meant for 15 inch laptops. Links to everything in this video will be down in the description below. Let me know if you like this little EDC or what's in my bag video. Like the video if you liked it. If you have any questions about any of these products, feel free to hit me up in Discord. Follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes and I will see you guys in the next video.